Objections are opportunities to close. Write that down if you're taking notes today. Objections are opportunities to close. Mr. and Mrs. Prosperic, we could solve that problem to your benefit in the time frame you're looking for in the budget you're working with. What would you, you wouldn't want to move forward and do business today, would you? What would you do next? Something like that. What are, uh, what are some typical objections we hear from people? Oh, oh, you know, I got to think about it. You know, I got to talk it over with the wife. And oh, okay. You know, sir, I think, Mr. Mr. Can I call you Nehemiah? My name's Claude. Oh, sure, sure. Call me Nehemiah. I'll, I'll role play. Why do I always do that move? I mean, we never talked about that. Why do I always change it to first names? It's more comfortable. It, it builds more rapport and trust. It's like, hey, do you mind if I call you, you know, Claude? My name is Nehemiah. Yeah, it's a simple, it's a simple little move. Yeah. But I, but I think it. It, you know, what are we trying to do? Get likability and trust. First people like and trust each other use first names, don't they? Yes. Absolutely. Back to Nehemiah. Sir, you say you want to think about it. Most people, when they say that to me, they really mean no, and they're just being too polite. So you don't have to think about it. You're not allowed to think about it. Why don't we just say we're done? It's over. Well, well you know, I, it's, it's just, it, it's a big purchase, you know, and I, I just, you know, I want, I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. You know, if I was in your shoes, I'd feel the exact way. We don't know each other this well, and it's an enormous purchase. Buying and selling a home, listing a home, buying an insurance, whatever you're doing, and everything like that. What do you need to feel? Um, you know, you're going you're gonna to talk to your spouse tonight. You, you're newlyweds. You were just married a week or two ago in Las Vegas, right? Right, right. You had a $35 wedding like I did at the uh, at the White Chapel right across from Circus Circus. I really yeah. did. I really did. You know what's the best part about it? My wife paid. Oh. <laughs> but I've been paying ever since. Hey, that's, a good, that's a good woman. That's a great woman. <laughs> But object. Um, I've got to turn it around, sir. What? What would you? What's the real reason we're not doing business today? It's not the money, is it? It's not the commission. It's not the size of the purchase. Or what do you need to feel comfortable so we could move forward? Otherwise, I'll just leave you alone and I'll get lost. Well, you know, right now, it's just the wife is you know most concerned about you know us using our, our savings to really finalize this purchase. So you know, we 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 really are committed. We want to move forward, but it, it is the it is the money. It is the money. It is the money. If we could work out the money situation in some fashion that's comfortable for your budget, we wouldn't be able to move forward today, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. You got I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Off the role play, what did I just get from him? A tentative Whoa. commitment. Sometimes do we have to take little baby steps to get those commitments? Okay. Can't just close them right away. It happens once in a while, but sometimes you need to do a little baby step, step by step by step. That's why the gut staircase is a bunch of steps, small motion, small little commitment. If you found a solution, what would you do next? If you can make it work within your budget, what would you do next? And sometimes I use a little redirection. Do you ever see you wouldn't want to move forward if you found a solution, would you? Right, right. That's, that's not something you're interested in, is it? That's not. A, if you found a solution on a timely basis that worked with your budget and your, your, your lovely spouse approved, that's not something you want to make a commitment on today, though, right? That's way too fast, isn't it? <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah. Redirection. Why do I redirection? What's a redirection? You, you go negative, they go positive. Yeah. Why? Why does that work? Why if I go the opposite of what they expect? The pendulum swings to the left. What's the only other direction it can go? That's right. It can go to the right. Did you ever hear anybody sell with opposite re redirection? Yeah. Going in the opposite way that the prospect expects. Do you think that gets them off balance a little? <laughs> Giving yes. people the opportunity to say no makes them more comfortable. Yeah. Hervasia, it can work positive too. Tell me you're checking, uh, you're, che uh, you're checking my competition out or something like that. Go ahead, Hervasio. And I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound good. Okay, I was just joining in. Yeah, we put you on the hot seat right away. Turn on your video, man. I, okay, hold on one second. Let me just get everything straight. Show that handsome face. 10,000 people are waiting for you right now. There you go. Can you see me? Yeah, I see you. There you go, man. 
You and I go to the same barber. I would okay, so I'm checking out your uh, competition. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, I'm not ready. I'm checking out your competition. That, let's do. Is that an objection we hear every now and then? Yeah, I was. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go back and and I was thinking of going on Google and just checking out what other options there are. Well, what, like what? Uh, who have you checked out so far? Well, I'll tell you the truth, I you, you know I, I saw you online and you're the first person I check out. But there's hey, got to yeah. be other people out so, there. So I'm your first. Yes, sir. You always remember your first, don't you? You tend to, yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys, what's the matter with too much turkey? No, nobody's smiling, for God's sakes. Come on. What's that, tur what's a, what's that chemical in that turkey? What did it do to you? Okay. It, put you to, it put you right to sleep. You know? <laughs> that, that, we call that the itis in our community. Ain't that, ain't that right, cash offer? We call Is that it the itis. Yes. <laughs> So when you get a when you get a prospect that says, "Well, I'm checking out Joe Blow and and this company and that company," you basically turn it around. Hey, those are good people. When you gave them a commitment, when you signed, why didn't you sign a contract? Who'd you go to? Remax, uh, Century Twenty One, Better Homes. They, did you go to all those people? Say yes. Work with me. Yep. Yes, yeah. Sir. Wait. Why didn't you? Uh, they're good people. They have great reputations, big companies. You must have signed an agreement with one of them, right? No, not yet. Why not? I just haven't, none of them has, has uh, made that connection with me, I guess. I haven't. Now, when you say connection, what does that mean exactly? Help me out. I'd like to make that connection with you. But you don't want to just keep calling different realtors, different investors, different buyers, sellers for the next couple of weeks, do you? What, what, do you uh, mean by, what do you mean by connection, Mr.? Mr. Chevrolet, help, help me out. Yeah, it just seemed like um, not, not every, not, I'm not getting all the information that I need. Like? Like, uh, uh, you know, I want to know, um, you know, the, the price that I'm being suggested I could sell my property for. Like, you know, I want to know. I wanna what do you want? How much, would you, know. how much would you like for your property? I'm looking to sell it for 250000 I That's what I'm thinking. My neighbor sold for that much. Okay, so if you could get two fifty dollars or more, if I could guarantee that to a substantial certainty to you, what would you say to me next? Let's pretend for a moment I could get you two fifty. dollars Just pretend, okay? No pressure. Yeah. Okay, I'm listening. What would you say to me next if we could get you two fifty, dollars or maybe more? I'd say I'd be ready to do some business. What? I said I'd be ready to do some business. What does that mean? <coughs> meaning, meaning, yeah. Well, you, oh, you, what? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That, that I'm agreeing to what you're saying. You're saying that if, if you know, possibly you can get me that. Am I ready to do business? Well, my answer is yes. It, uh, possibly yes. I'm sorry. My my answer would be yes. I'm ready to do some business. Woo! All right. You made me work for that. Yes. Yeah, okay. I, that took that took some work. What, ha what happens when you say to the prospect, I don't understand, what do you mean by that? When they say, possibly, we could do this, this looks favorable, uh, I give this my highest attention. When they say things like that, does that mean yes? No. No. You got to go for the yes. Uh, absolutely. Who wants to see?